Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another Alchemy Guide. This time, we're going to be talking about articles. Articles are kind of our way of creating chapters for you to either look into or uh, kind of thumb through a book a lot easier. But what can you do with the articles? Well, creating your own articles in a custom universe allows you to take notes, um, divide your thoughts by chapter, or even create your own custom adventures. So let's dive into articles really quick and show you what is possible within them. Right, now that we're ready to go, you can just go up to the top right here and click Create Article. Once you do, you'll be given the option to start editing right away, and you can put in your own title right here at the top. So, title. You can also add a subtitle by kind of just highlighting this and add a subtitle. These titles and subtitles will later be able to be searched within your game. So make sure that you're labeling these something that you might remember whenever you join your game and use the Omni search to find said articles. Now, these articles are basically a great way to keep track of things, uh, add context to things, or maybe even make searching up different uh, handouts or articles themselves or possibly even different assets a lot easier. So what is in these uh, these articles? Well, if I go into an article that I've already kind of set up, let's go back a screen here, and I go to the article that I've already set up, this one here will show you the different aspects and different ways you can manipulate the article. Now, I'm going to go further in later on in a different video about what kind of things you can do with markdown and markdown is a way to kind of manipulate these areas that allow you to type these different things in them but the thing that i want to talk about specifically for articles is the uh the headers right here so as you can see these top four you have a uh test uh sub or excuse me you have a header which has a single hashtag and then you have a header two that has two hashtags, and so on and so forth, all the way down to four hashtags. And each one of these affects the document uh, in a way once we click here and are done with it. Now, you can see it just it gives them a special look once they're actually in the article. But what's special about these specifically, other than the fact that they look a little bit different in the article, is that they actually set up your search bar here on the left. It's a quick search bar, basically, that allows you to click on a certain aspect of it, and it kind of auto scrolls to where it needs to be in the document. So if you have a long article with a lot of different chapters or a lot of different headers that you want to be able to search through quickly, if you just add these hashtags to your um, to your article, it will create an auto search function essentially for them. Now, there's a bunch of things here that you can see that allow you to do different things within the actual uh, document. But right now we'll be focused on those when we go into Markdown. The other thing you can do with articles is if you scroll all the way down, you'll find in the edit mode, you'll find a visual and a primary audio media area. Now, if you've already uploaded things into your assets, you can automatically use those assets within this article, which is great. Now, if you've already seen our assets tutorial, you'll see that we're using the same assets here. But if you haven't seen our assets tutorial, that's fine because you can also just upload directly to it. So when I select a visual, you can see our asset automatically gets uploaded or you can upload it directly to this location. Now here, I've already done it, so I'm gonna click on it. What it does is it takes that image and it places it behind it. And whenever you scroll, it gives it a really cool uh, transparency um, diminishing effect, which is really neat. So you can kind of give a little bit of atmosphere to this article specifically. Another really cool thing you can do is add audio here. Now, why would we want audio? Well, it's really neat to be able to read something and have a thematic theme song or song going during that, uh, during the reading of the article. So you could just make the reading of the article a little bit more thematic. And in doing so, what you would do is select the audio, select an audio track that maybe you've uploaded to your assets or upload directly to it. And once it's uploaded, you'll see on the top right, a little play button has appeared. And by pushing play, you have very cool thematic music that you can have play along while they read this article. 
Another thing that you can do in an article at the very bottom is add attachments to this article. Now, these attachments can be either music or maybe possibly uh, additional rules or anything like that. Maybe a PDF that you have that is specific to your game uh, that you've created. Well, anything that you can want your players to be able to actually download and look up uh, outside of Alchemy, you can have an attachment uh, placed to this. Think of it like an email attachment, essentially. And then last but not least is the metadata tag. And this just, again, makes these articles a little bit more easy to, or a little easier to search up. So typing anything you want in here to help search these articles a little bit better, that's up to you and however you want to do that. Now that we have this article nice and done, we can go ahead and go back to our universe and you'll see that it's uploaded, uh, updated the thumbnail that's attached to it. Um, what's really neat here is you have the ability of embedding other things into your articles. So for instance, we have this reference article. This article here has its own background, has its own headers and everything like that. But what we can do is we can make these articles placed within our original. So if I right click and click copy embed code, what that will do is essentially create a button for our players or you to reference and click whenever you are ready to in this universe. So what I can do is I'll go over to uh, a button right here and I will, uh, I'm gonna delete this here and I'm going to place our new button. And what that does is I just pushed copy, uh, I'm sorry, I just pushed paste or control V here. And once I click done, it creates a button with that article's name on it. What does that do? Well, now, anytime I have this article pulled up, I now have this button within this article and I can click this and it will open up the other article. Now, this one is basically a pop up instead of like, you know, going into the universe article because we wouldn't want to like shift your whole focus into the other article. We just basically bring this up so that you can read. And if this was longer, you could scroll through. Uh, you could even create multiple layers, essentially, uh, where I have a button in the first document that leads to another one that has a button in that document and so on and so forth to more articles. And then you just kind of click the X's out until you return back to the original. Uh, so really neat things you can do with articles. You can also do with NPCs. You can also do with handouts uh, and, and uh, several other options. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for um, embed codes when you right click things in your universe because you can put them in different locations. So now that we've got the inside of the article taken care of, let's talk about uh, what's you can what you can do here in the actual universe section. So if you see, there's a couple things I wanna go over um, right off the bat. And the first one is this button here on the top right. This basically takes it from this thumbnail view to essentially a list view. So right now you can see it has one, two, three, and it's kind of listed down from the top to the bottom. Now, if you find that uh, there are, maybe you wanted an article in front of another and you need to shift these around, you'll find that there is a little wrench here on the bottom right. If you click that wrench, this will allow you to start moving things around however you like by clicking and dragging. And you'll see a new button has populated. Insert divider here by clicking that, you'll see a divider pop up. And by moving this divider kind of, let's say for instance here, um, you can then edit it however you wish. Now, why would you need a divider? Well, let's say for instance, you're in a custom universe that you've just made and you don't want your players to read anything that you've posted. Uh, below this. So you could say GM eyes only. And now whenever I click that wrench again, you can see that my articles have been essentially chaptered. So I have everything on the top here where maybe I can make a, a, a divider that says players only or player accessible, that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Why don't we let's say player only. And you can see here now players, I have this top section that they can go into and the GMI's only area is below that. So whenever you tell your players, hey, you have access to this universe, just be careful when you're in the articles area that you don't read anything below the, uh, the header. So uh, it's a really cool way of separating things out, especially if you're doing maybe long form co uh, content. Maybe you are creating your own book or your own adventure and you wanna section it out by chapters is a really good way of doing that. Well, 
with those things, we've explained pretty much everything there is to need to know for articles. I appreciate you guys hanging out with uh, us for another Alchemy Guides. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, please do leave them in the comments below. I do read every one of them. I do appreciate you guys hanging out yet again, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.